Today I'm putting double-sided tape from Amazon through a serious stress test. This stuff right here claims it can hold thick three-quarter inch hardwood or any hardwood securely on a CNC bed, but can it really handle the lateral forces, vibration, and cutting pressure from an active car? I've got a real-world application lined up right now. I need a new wall-mounted hat holder, so this isn't just a test, it's a live trial. No clamps, no screws, just this tape versus torque. If it fails, the wood's coming loose mid-cut and that could wreck the project, the bit, and my face. So this is woodworking tape by Better Boat. This is the 2.5 inch wide by 100 feet. This also comes in one inch wide, so you can get whichever version you like best. I got the wide version, so that way I don't have to spend a lot of time taping the back of this down. Today I'll be using this piece of cherry that's already been squared from a previous project. So on first glance, this is already really good because it's not really that thick. It looks like we don't even really need to consider this in our tool path. Probably will put a .005 in addition to the thickness of this wood. Make sure that the bit cuts all the way through. Going to go ahead and apply this to the bottom of my workpiece. It is terrible, so that makes this a little bit easier. When working with the CNC machine, securing your material properly is crucial. If the wood moves even a little bit during machining, it can throw your entire project off, ruin your bit, and even cause damage to your extremities, causing a huge mess and sometimes breaking everything else. Traditional clamping methods can be effective, but they can also limit the area and type of material you can work with. Okay, now making sure that my material is square with the CNC machine, I'm going to stick it down. And then to make sure this sets properly, I'm gonna set my kettlebell on it. We have three tool paths today, a relief tool path, uh, several cutout profile tool paths, and then two drill holes. So on initial impression here, it's not moving up or down and it's not moving left or right. So this could be exactly what I'm looking for here. I've been looking for alternate methods of holding my work in place over the painter's tape and glue trick because it's just too time consuming. We're gonna start with the roughing tool path for the graphics of the sat holder. We'll know right away if the tape works or not. I'm curious to see if this double-sided tape is going to effectively secure the wood on the CNC machine. This tape is super easy to use so far and seems like a great alternative to traditional clamping methods. It's definitely worth a shot. Let's go ahead and get the bits going. The workpiece isn't moving at all right now. No play left or right, no play up or down. So that's a really good sign. So that did a really good job there, no movement in the piece. Next up is our finishing pass. We'll be using the 16th inch Skinny Jenny. Next up, we are drilling two mounting holes with this eighth inch downtown Jenny. We're going to switch back to the quarter inch Jenny and cut out all of the main pieces. So this profile toolpath is probably going to be the most extreme when it comes to movement left and right up and down. So this one should be really interesting. If this one works out, then this tape is all good.
So I had to stop the cut right there. This just became unsafe. As you just saw in the video, it started sliding left and right. Now I have some pull on it as well. So what that tells me is that as soon as I cut out these smaller pieces, it lost some of the traction on the board. And then from there, it started sliding. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up just to take a look here. That came off pretty easily. It's still pretty sticky on the bottom side. I think that if I would have done a better job taping this part right here, would have held in any case, because you have this entire middle section that was still taped down when it started to slide. So for the rest of this project i'll probably end up cutting this out with a jigsaw so i can get it together and if you want to see how this turns out like and subscribe on my channel i will be publishing a short with the rest of this soon i was initially impressed with how well this tape was working i think that it's going to be great to use for 3d relief carvings where you are doing surface work unfortunately when i started making deep cuts into the hardwood the workpiece began to shift with the router movements this caused me to halt the project and search for alternative methods to get the cutout finished this is a good quick solution for work holding when it comes to smaller pieces and surface carving i can see it having a place on stand by in my shop. If you want to see how the rest of this project came out, like and subscribe and watch out for my next short. If you're interested in more tests like this, or if you've got a favorite method of securing materials, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to monitor my channel for more project updates and experiments.